another video here take a look of our progress we've done on our wallapini you see i've cut this bank back to lay in this anchor grid uh, i've got probably about dull 20 some anchor grids going on here anchor bolts uh, the reason we're putting this anchor grid in uh, i filled in and, and backfilled onto this south wall probably about four feet up and uh, what that's for is as we fill the uh, backfill this up it prevents the wall from tipping over so I will take and uh, put more fill more fines now on this grid and uh, put some weight upon it and that'll help prevent that wall from laying over so uh, here's a quick look at the uh, uh, anchor bolt that I actually put in at this location you can see right here uh, the location I put these in. This is the anchor bolt here. Now with that, it's a 5 8 lag bolt with about a 1 foot 12 inch piece of half inch rebar and then I just welded a 5 8 nut on it. And I needed uh, to go into the wall probably all 6 inches there through insulation, 4 inch of insulation and if any space. So. And then I wanted that bolt in another good inch. So that's sunk right into the, there's a wood post that the uh, gabion wall with rock is uh, every five foot on center. And that's where I put the anchor bolts and then welded these hoops. They're about 18 inches diameter. There's about 20 of them I've got in here on this south side and uh but i want to give you a good look at uh, the progress here and why we're putting this anchor grid in it's uh kind of important because of, we've got a lot of loose cobblestone fill and there's just a tremendous amount of pressure that's going to be on this south wall plus uh, the slope of the roof is all coming this way so all the water is coming this way uh this one slope roof but uh anyway we're uh, I've welded these hoops down. Each spot I could get a spot weld on the um, hoops and the netting. What this is just uh, regular cattle panels. And uh, you can see here, I've welded it here and here, here. Well, each hoop that I've placed one of these anchor bolts and welded at the hoop so they're all tied in with welds, spot welds everywhere. So hopefully that'll give us a nice sound integrity as we uh, progress on this. When we uh, first put these posts in, they're every five foot on center, at the very bottom of the post, we put, oh, probably five or six foot anchor bolts that were drilled diagonally into the bottom of the trench before we built the wall and place the uh, baskets around the posts. This is what we're doing at the top with this uh, anchor grid system. Um, now I'll just go ahead and put some, probably some three quarter road mix, some kind of fines to fill in here on this netting and give us a, a good fill in here. And then I'll put some more of our regular uh, cobble fill on top and put a little weight and then after that, I'll put a kind of a drain field. It'll be the total length of this wall. Uh, this is a pretty good uh, look at what we've got going on here. Hope that uh, this will help clear up some of the clear up some of the confusion why we've done this. But we wanted to give you a quick video just why this anchor system because there's quite a detail in it. So stay tuned. And uh, as we progress on our project here, uh, don't forget to hit that like button down below. And uh, we appreciate your comments, everything that uh, as we progress on our project here. So take care.